Today we're going to make rigatoni alla vodka, but we're gonna make it a little different. We're gonna use fresh spinach and Calabrian chili paste. I always have a jar of this. I've used it probably in about five or six of my other recipes. It's about $4 for this jar. It lasts a long time because this stuff is very spicy. Make sure you're topping it off with olive oil. If you don't do that, what, what could happen, and it's happened to me before, mold will form on the top of it and I have to toss the jar. So I like to use tomato paste for my vodka sauce. And if you don't want to use that, you can use a can of San Marzano tomatoes. You can just blend or pulse them, crush them. You can even use a can of uh, inexpensive crushed tomatoes. It would be fine. Really, you're going to get similar results no matter what you use. I prefer paste because paste is cheap and it's very concentrated flavor. It really boosts the flavor of dishes. I use it in a lot of my dishes. This is a container of Locatelli grated. Locatelli is the biggest uh, brand of Pecorino Romano. That's pretty much the one you're gonna see in the stores. Though I have, a, I have a block right here that is not Locatelli. And I have a few more blocks in the fridge. I buy a lot of it, I go through a lot of it, and I really like this. This is, it's really handy to have, have it all grated. If you don't wanna use Pecorino Romano in here, you can also use Parmesan cheese. The choice is kind of yours. Put the onion in and you want to make it soft, but you don't want to get any color on here. So keep your heat low. I have my heat probably close to medium low. Take a few minutes. The onions will get a little translucent. Then you add the garlic in. And then the garlic, maybe another minute, minute and a half. Then we'll work our way into the tomato paste and the chili paste, everything like that. Really around this point, you could start boiling your water for your pasta. Vodka sauce can doesn't need to sit long. It doesn't need to simmer or anything. It's gonna to come together very quickly. That being said, you can save your vodka sauce for a long time and use it. You can save it for two days later, use it for another pound of pasta if you make a lot. You could also put it on pizza. And so the onions are soft enough in the garlic. See that? Turn the heat up a tiny bit more now, but not too much. And you're gonna put the paste in. I'm gonna use half a can of paste, so that's three ounces. A standard can of paste in America is six ounces, so we're gonna use half of this. If you're using regular plum tomatoes, you probably would use about 12 or 14 ounces of plum tomatoes. And frying the paste out is important. It's just something that, that you always wanna do. If you're gonna use hot pepper flakes, you can also add them, uh, but you don't need that if you're using this. So we're gonna go with about a teaspoon to start. And, and you will smell that. It will like hit your nose right away. It's really, really good. I love it. And if you're worried about the spice level of this, I'd say the Calabrian chilies are probably about 10,000 on the Scoville unit. So Italian food in general, even this Calabrian paste, is, which is the spiciest thing in Italian cuisine, is still very mild compared to a lot of other cuisines. So don't think that this is gonna kill you or anything. So it's been about five minutes. Let's get the vodka in. And a little secret trick that I love to put in is white wine. This is the way, this is the place I used to work. First place I ever worked at uh, was a catering company. And they did a lot of gourmet food for uh, wealthy people. Vodka sauce was very popular. And it was pretty much when vodka sauce actually became popular in America. So it was the early 90s. He would use white wine. And I always thought his was better than any other place that I had it. If you don't want to use the white wine, use all vodka. I recommend that maybe you try it both ways and you see which one you like better. Okay, but I'm gonna use two ounces of white wine and two ounces of vodka here. And this is a two ounce shot glass. All right, turn the heat up and let's, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be super high, maybe medium high, let the want liquor let the vodka and the wine cook out. It actually was the second place I worked at. First place I worked at was uh, a different place where 
I uh, wash dishes in there. They wouldn't let me in the front. I was 14. Okay, that's good. Pretty much it's evaporated. I'm gonna lower that heat down to about medium low again. We're gonna do three quarter cup of cream for this, which is for a half a pound of pasta. Okay, mix this all around, let it come to a light simmer. And then after that, we can start taste testing. If it's too thick, don't worry about it. We're gonna have pasta water. We can thin it as much as we want. And this is another personal preference thing. A lot of people will like the vodka sauce very, very on the white side. So not a lot of tomato in there. And some people want it like ultra heavy tomatoes. The way that he made it, the person who taught me, he would always put peas in it. And he always used rigatoni. And I, I just loved, I loved his, I loved all his food. He made everything and he made everything for like 200 people. So the pans that he was cooking in were like, were like this big. All right, that looks pretty good. Get the pasta going. The pasta should be close to done right now. Take your spinach, all the spinach, put it right in here. See how much spinach that is? It's a half a pound of spinach for a half a pound of pasta. Leave it in here. That's why you take a big bowl to start. Get our pasta, we're gonna to toss it together and we're gonna finish this up. Water boiling, two tablespoons kosher salt per gallon of water. Okay. Got my spider and this is gonna allow us to pull it right out and put it right in here. Let's give it a stir. Don't want it to stick and I'm gonna cook this to pretty much a little bit less than done. So al dente, maybe 30 seconds less, we'll finish it in the sauce. Let's taste test this. Delicious, very, very spicy from that paste. Yep. I definitely don't need any more. The kids, I want the kids to eat it. All we're gonna do here is we're gonna finish with, when we get the pasta in, we're gonna put some pecorino on here. All right, you see how thick this sauce is? Really thick, looks too thick, right? but we're gonna put our pasta in wet. So what that means is we're gonna, we're gonna use our spider, but we're not gonna go crazy. I'm gonna go in here. It's gonna loosen up right away. If you use a colander, which is fine, make sure you reserve some of your pasta water so you can thin if you need to. I'm just gonna test. About 30 seconds more. Get it right in there. We put the cream in hot. It's not gonna break because you used heavy cream, right? Don't use half and half. If you use half and half, you're gonna have a problem. Now we're al dente, so we, we can cook for a minute. What By doing this, the reason we don't want to cook it all the way is just we want the sauce to grab the pasta. If you cook it all the way and you just put sauce on top of it afterwards, it's just going to fall off. The only time you don't, you, you really can't do it is if you're making a huge thing of Sunday sauce, Sunday gravy, and you got like three pounds of pasta. Then you can kind of toss it in, put it in a big bowl, toss it together. That's what I would do. All right, let's add in about a quarter cup to maybe three eighths of a cup of pecorino. Now you're basically adding your salt in. Yeah, it's gonna start to thicken. If it thickens too much, you add a little bit of pasta water. All right, that's looking really good. You see that? That consistency. Give it about one minute here, and then you can start tossing. It'll all be soft, and then serve it right up. If you think it's too dry, you have your pasta water, you add it right in there. Okay, one ladle's worth. We added a lot of spinach in here that has no that had no salt or pepper added to it. So even though our sauce was salty and our pasta, we got to test it now and make sure that we have it right before we serve it. Yeah, so even with the pecorino, I'm gonna add a little bit more salt, about one teaspoon. So I always say just taste taste your stuff, your anything you're making right at the end before you serve it. Pepper's good, it's still very spicy. So, all right, there you have it. That's a spicy vodka sauce with spinach. I would recommend maybe using a tiny bit less spinach than I did. The final measurements and everything will be in the written description. If you like this video and you like anything else on this channel, please subscribe. Watching more videos, that helps me more even than if you subscribe. So I really appreciate you doing that. I appreciate you helping me out and I will see you next time.